Uh, Rob, we've been talking a lot about Shang-Chi uh, ever since I saw it. I was kind of overwhelmed and amazed by the movie, and I absolutely loved it. I've seen it six times in theaters. Uh, and the reason I've seen it six times is I haven't yet gone a seventh, but I will be going a seventh time to go see it. Uh, and then, of course, it had it shattered all box office expectations. It's already surpassed its production budget box office wise. So it's on a good roll. But, you know, one of the questions about Shang-Chi ever since it opened was, OK, great opening weekend. Is it going to have legs? How will it do rolling into, say, a second weekend? Because, Rob, lest we forget Black Widow made $80 million on its opening weekend. It did better than Shang-Chi did on its opening weekend by about four and a half million bucks, but still did better. But it took a pretty significant drop in its second weekend uh, in the 60s. And that's what a lot of people are talking about right now is what kind of legs. Hey, that's great. Shang-Chi, great opening weekend. Bravo. Well done. But it don't mean a lot. If you ain't got legs, because if Shang-Chi goes into the second weekend and drops like 67%, well then, okay, big deal. It had a great opening weekend. We got to see if this thing's going to have legs. Now in talking about legs, I thought it would be fun for a moment, if you will. If we decided to jump over and take a quick look, let's jump into the Campia classroom here for a second, shall we? <laughs> jump into I love the when you do this. We're going to jump into the Camp Campia classroom. Let's look at a couple of films, shall we? About, you know, what second weekend drops have been like. We just mentioned Black Widow, right? Black Widow took a 67% drop in its second weekend. And that's not good. Now, generally, Rob, you and I are always talking about how, uh, basically speaking, if, you're, if you've got a, a, a movie out, you would like to see it come be between 50 and 60% drop. That's the general norm. If you can drop between 50 and 60%, that's good. If you drop under 50%, well, then, then you're popping bottles. But if you drop over 60%, that's a cause for a little bit of concern. So we see Black Widow took a 67% drop. Well, how about Spider-Man Homecoming? Spider-Man Homecoming, great movie, great word of mouth, stuff like that. But it, too, took over a 60% drop. Now, of course, Marvel movies, Rob, we've talked about this, too. Marvel movies tend to be front-end heavy because people don't wait to go to see Marvel movies. Right, They go in droves opening weekend. So you can expect to see a little bit more of an opening weekend drop, but still, Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, even Endgame took a 59% drop. 59% drop. Uh, you know, Thor 3 or Thor Ragnarok, uh, it took a 54% drop on there. It, it, I mean, let's look at some DC things. My beloved Man of Steel, Rob. You know me, one of the greatest comic masterpieces of the comic book genre, most underrated comic book fil film of all time. Want to take a guess, Rob, of what uh, Man of Steel's second weekend drop was? 65%. You know, very close. Very close. Man of Steel took a uh, really undeserved 68% drop in his second weekend. Uh, Batman versus Superman took a 69% drop. And, of course, uh, the new Suicide Squad took a 70% drop. And, by the way, our friend Kim Starr uh, sends in a Super Chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, Kim Starr. Appreciate that very much. Um, so that's just giving you a sense that a lot of these comic book moves can take these drops. Now, Rob, the best one ever, I believe, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the best second weekend drop for a Marvel movie, I believe, was Black Panther. And Black Panther came in at a, not $45, at a 45% drop, which is remarkable. Especially, Rob, when you consider that Black Panther made $200 million in its opening weekend. That's front-end loaded. That's major front-end loaded. And yet it still managed a 45% drop on its second weekend. Well, all that's interesting because the uh, box office outlet, Box Office Pro, has just been putting out their projections for the second weekend for Shang-Chi. And they are currently projecting Shang-Chi. Now, they are projecting this. It might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit less. But right now, their projections are pointing to Shang-Chi making $40 million, right around the $40 million mark 
for its second weekend. If it's able to hold that, if it does indeed come in at that, then we would be looking at uh, Shang-Chi taking a Black Panther-like 45% drop. Now, again, this is give or take a couple of million, Rob. These are just projections. It is theoretically possible here that if Shang-Chi can make a little bit more than projections in its second weekend, we could be looking at the best second weekend percentage-wise. We could be looking at the best second weekend in MCU history. Uh, of course, there's a lot of caveats to that. There's a there's a bunch of asterisks to put on top of that, absolutely. But by pure drop percentage numbers from week one to week two, we could be looking theoretically maybe at certainly one of the best Marvel second weekends ever, maybe the best. Anyway, Rob, you see these numbers. What are your thoughts on this? What do you? How do you think this is going to turn out? I think it's going to turn out pretty well, John. I mean, <laughs> obviously, the the movie, as we've been saying since we saw it, uh, it is wildly entertaining. And and I think that um, to think that it's not going to drop as much as it dropped or that other movies have dropped is reasonable because people are having – it's a great time at the movies. And I think people – you know, people have forgotten that that's what movies are supposed to be, a great time at the movies. And you know what was great about Shang-Chi? Five minutes into this movie, I'd forgotten all my troubles. I'd forgotten anything that was going on in the outside world. I just had a huge smile on my face. And that smile did not let up until the second post credit scene. <laughs> and what a fine time at the, fi the picture shows it is. So I would say that uh, it would not surprise me at all if the drop is even less than it's being predicted. Because who wouldn't want to see this movie? I mean, it's just, you know, it's funny, uh, Anne and I, and you, by the way, you and Elizabeth also, we all went to the Designing Hollywood anniversary event last night in Woodland Hills, California, and the hotel Anne and I were at was right across the street from the AMC Theater's Woodland Hills, and Anne and I were even like, how late can we show up to this party? Maybe we want to go see Shang-Chi first, and we thought, but we didn't. We went straight to the party. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, what are you guys Think about this projection. It would be impressive. Not only would it be shattering opening weekend box office expectations, it would be shown to have incredible eyes, especially during a pandemic. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Do you think it'll be able to hit that 45% drop? I'm still pegging it around 50, to be honest with you. But do you think he can hit those numbers? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.